This is a blood stain, and here's how to remove it. I have two blood stains, stain one and stain two. I'm gonna give you two methods to remove them, so if one doesn't work, you can use the other. For method number one, you're gonna need hydrogen peroxide, and if you notice, he dressed up for you and wore a tie. And you're also gonna need a cleaning toothbrush. So what we're gonna do is take a little napkin or a paper towel, stick it underneath the stain, right like that. Now you wanna saturate the stain with your hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> Got a little more than I wanted there, but as you can see, it's fizzing up, and that's what you want it to do. That means it's working. Now take your cleaning toothbrush and start to lightly brush in the hydrogen peroxide into the fibers. I like that. Now take your little paper towel and just try to dab, some, dab out any that you can get. Whatever's left over, we're gonna allow that hydrogen peroxide to sit there for 10 to 15 minutes. We got a little bit on there. Time is up, now we're gonna rinse the hydrogen peroxide and the stain out with cold water. And as you can see, the stain is still there a little bit. So we're gonna add a little bit more peroxide and try to work it out here in the sink. You might say, Tommy, what is going on? Why are you struggling so much? You can't even get a stain out of your own shirt. You're supposed to be the claim of confidence, man. Well, this is a classic example of why you should try to remove the stain within the first 24 hours. The longer a stain sets, the harder it is to remove it. And this stain is three days old. It's rinsed out in cold water. Whatever you do, you don't want to use hot water. Never use hot water on protein-based stains. This stain right here is a protein-based stain. If you use hot water, it'll set the stain in the fabric for sure, and then it will be really difficult to remove. You're gonna make it 50 times harder for yourself to remove if you use hot water. And as you can see, all gone. Now what you wanna do is just launder your item as you normally would. But we're not finished yet. I have one more way to show you how to remove blood stains. Cleaning toothbrush again, and you need a bottle of Windex. The reason we're using Windex is it's got ammonia in it. Now you can use straight ammonia if you prefer, but I find it easier just to use Windex. Spray it on there real liberal. Work it into the fiber. Spray a little more, liberally, liberally. Maybe dab a little. Okay, just like that. Don't be afraid of it. You can see just in doing that, it's almost completely gone. Just that alone, it's pretty much removed. Now it's an itty bitty little spot right there. But what I'll do is let this sit 10 minutes, then we'll rinse it off with cold water in the sink. Remember, always cold water with protein-based stains. Moment of truth. Gone. Now just launder your item as you normally would. And that is how to remove blood stains from your clothes. If you've ever wanted to know how to remove pee stains from your mattress, click the video on the screen now and I'll see you in a minute.